Hey, okay, we're going to uh, do a conversion here using the steps that are on the website, uh, just so you sort of understand how those work. Um, I think it's a nice visual and uh, helps me. Uh, 250 milligrams going to kilograms, so we start down here at the bottom with our 250 milligrams, 250. And every time we go up a step, we divide by 10, so we move the decimal, which is right here, one step to the left. So this one would be 25. Cancel. Uh, this would be zero. Or, crap. Sorry. This would be 2.5. We'd have 0 0.25 grams. We'd have 0 0.025. 0 0.0025. And finally, at the kilograms, we'd have 0 0.00025 grams. So from where we started, we've moved it. Uh, let's go green here. We've moved our decimal one, two, three, four, five, six places. Meaning, yeah, just six steps up, six places to the left. If we went the other way, it would be six steps to the right. So this is 0 0.00025 kilograms. Pretty small. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, the last thing I just want to mention, you don't, of course, have to use the steps. You could just say, uh, I know that 250 divided by, what would it be, like a million? It'd give you the same answer. Punch that straight into your calculator. But, yeah, it's just another way to do it. Again, there's lots of ways to solve these problems. You can do the dimensional analysis where I showed you in the last video, or you can use a cal uh, converter. Google has a really good converter. Whatever resource works best for you.